Uh, hi guys, so I'm going to read Detective Comics number 32. Um, so this is the sequel to the previous Batman story um, with the Mad Monk, the vampire. Well, he, he was a werewolf in the last issue, but now he's going to be a vampire this time. So it's October 1939. And just, yeah, the cover again is not, not Batman. Um, it's some cop holding the guy. It looks like he's about like to like kiss him or something. It's really weird. Like it looks like he's about to kiss him. It's really weird. And it says, uh, Speed Saunders, Buck Marshall. Yeah, very or Slam Bradley. I know who that is. He he was in the Catwoman comics. Slam Bradley was. Um. Later on. So he's one of the very few of these characters to be kept. To be like kept on. But there's another advertisement for. Um, I don't know. Apparently there's just guns being advertised. Uh, hula skirt. Yeah it's just like random. Random stuff. Anyway so Batman by Bob Kane. Following his fiance, the Batman, in reality Bruce Wayne, has trailed a sinister figure, Cal Legamonk, into Hungary. Cal Legamonk into Hungary, not Hungary, Hungary. Okay. So, like an animal of prey, the Batman watches his quarry. So there's a guy. Um, in a carriage, I guess that's the Mad Monk driving, it. or no, it's the Mad Monk's is like chauffeur or whatever. But at the end of a silken code or uh, cord, the Batman races overhead and drops like a huge bat onto a speeding carriage. He whips out a glass pellet of choking gas, and the fumes o overcome the occupant of the cab. So now this is Dalla, so this is this is the Mad Monk's girlfriend. Um so sh you know, he takes out the chauffeur. Instead of his quarry, the monk um the Batman finds what? Lifts her. Yeah, he kidnaps her. The eerie figure returns to his bat plane. I don't know who she is, but I have a feeling I'll soon find out. Strange for anyone to be traveling out alone way out here. And yet the monk, I wonder. The Batman arrives at his hotel, embedded deep in the Car Carlathian Mountains in Hungary. Yeah, there's a lot of misspellings, apparently. Uh, yeah, there's no, like, commas or anything either, I've noticed. Ah, uh, she's coming too. I hope Julie is safe. Who, who are you? My name is Dalla. I seem to have been kidnapped by your friend here. That night, the Batman safeguards his fiance and the stranger. During the night, the Batman hears sobbing moans. Uh, through the open door comes the woman, Dalla. The, woman, the Batman is startled to notice blood on the woman's lips and fears for Julie's safety. Suddenly, Dala snaps out of her trance, grabs a statuette, and the Batman is, moment, is stunned momentarily, allowing the, woman, the strange woman to escape. The Batman returns to Julie, where, whose throat shows two red spots. Marks of the vampire. I should have known. Never should have trusted her. She won't get far. Like, actually, I think I've seen this image of Batman before somewhere. Um, this one I'm talking about. Like him, like, flying from, like, a rope. I think I've seen that before. I don't know where, though. One of, like, the old Batmans. I've seen that. Yeah, I like how it's very cool though. Like you can't see his face. His, fa his face is like 
shrouded in darkness. Like a plummet, um, the Batman overtakes his prey. You shall talk now, Della, you witch. I thought you were an accomplice of your evil master who calls himself the monk. So you are vampires. You want to know who the monk is? You fear him? Well, I do too. I'll tell you where you may find him if you promise to kill him. I'll be the judge of that. Where does the monk hide? In the mountains of Cathala. Not Carpathia, Cathala. Okay. By the turbulent river Dress, I shall guide you. This money will safeguard you. I'm going. I am going. You must fight against the power that calls you to this monk. Oh, I am. I will fight. I will. But I am so afraid without you. Um, and so the Batman and Dala depart on their weird mission. Um, toward the stronghold of the monk wings the airy bat plane. Suddenly, the Batman sees a great silver net that seems to operate by magic, which drags the bat plane earthward. You fool, pitting your puny body against the mighty monk. Okay, I'm going to try to do the voice for monk. My friend, the Batman, so you are still alive. A dollar welcome. By his marvelous hypnotic powers, the Batman slowly overpowers the, or then not the the monk slowly overpowers the Batman. I like the monk's design too. It's like it's a hood with like crossbones on. It's really cool. I guess the monk is a werewolf. Maybe monk is a werewolf and Dal is a vampire. Maybe that's what's I don't know. You must get rid of this Batman. I think it the taste of the werewolf then will would help. Wait, your vengeance must be perfect. First you must bring Julie here. Oh, so he sent the werewolves after Okay. So he's a vampire that can also so he has werewolves under his control okay. So make the Batman uh, suffer knowing to what the fate the to what fate the gold is doomed. By a tremendous concentration of will, the monk forces his power through space. Uh, the monk's mid fastens on Julie's will, compelling her to come to him. Okay, so she's hypnotized again. The helpless Batman sees his fiance drawn to the into the monk's trap. Soon your journey will be as we are to where we are werewolves. Uh, okay, so they are, I don't know, anyway. On to ra ravish on all living men, and you shall be dead, helpless to avenge her. The Batman is forced to suffer in silence. You have done something to him. His eyes are suffering, but he cannot move. Oh, you fiend. It would be... It's kind of a cool idea if, if um, the monk was both a vampire and, like, a werewolf. That would be kind of a cool idea, I guess. He'd be very overpowered. I, I, I guess he is still a vampire and a werewolf. Like, if a modern version of the monk was made for, like, a movie or something, they could make him into a... Like, both... Into that den, the wolves, which I shall call from the forest, you will, shall be cast to die by their thirsty fangs. Before the Batman's horrified eyes, the monk begins to change. So, yeah, he is, yeah, he's both a vampire and a werewolf. The monk, as a wolf, howls the gathering call to the mountain wolves. From the surrounding mountains, the wolves gather. Youth. You shall be thrown into the arena below to die at their rending fangs. As you are screaming in death, remember that Julie will be a werewolf herself in time. 
to run with the pack on moon, moon night nights. As he is pushed forward, the Batman senses suddenly a uh, return to their full power. He twists in midair and, and tries a desperate throw with his silken rope. His cast fails, and he falls into the wolf den. The Batman swiftly extracts a glass pellet from his belt. The gas in the exploding pellet overpower overcomes the wolves. I can hold the wolves off only as I as, only as long as my gas pellets last, then it's over. The light but strong rope fails to carry the pit's edge or to the pit's edge. Towards dawn the wolves awake. Uh, flashing fangs again menace the Batman. The Batman's fingers find a hidden bat battering. He throws it at the wolves. One strong cast will win me freedom. Uh, the, bat the batarang slips past the stone post and the rope holds. The Batman climbs to safety and then seeks his vengeance. Safe so far. Now for the others. A silver statue. While the vampires sleep during the daytime, I shall melt this statue and make two silver bullets, one for Dala and one for the monk. Now what Batman's doing here, I actually kind of agree with. Even if he didn't kill, I think... Like in, in Batman vs. Dracula in that movie, he killed Dracula. And it makes sense because they're both undead. They're, they're both undead. They're supernatural. So it makes sense for him to kill him. Probably not the way, not exactly the way, oh, I'll just show you. So only a silver bullet may kill a vampire. Now to find the open tomb in which these vampires sleep and bring them death that will release Julie. So it looks like there's a bunch of coffins here. It's very strange, I guess. Or they could be corpses, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like they're alive. It looks like there's skin on them, so I don't know. They don't look like skeletons. But the Batman pauses before the open tombs of the vampires. So this is the only time you get to see the monk's face. So he looks like a werewolf and a vampire. He looks like a combination. For some reason, he's not wearing his robe. He looks more like Dracula here, but... Never again will you harm a mortal, any mortal being. So yeah, Batman shoots him with a gun and kills both of them. But the spell is broken and life returns once again to Julie. I don't know who you are, but you saved my life and I shall be forever grateful. And finished. Uh, a new intriguing Batman story starts next month in Detective Comics. So yeah, that was that was pretty that was pretty good. Um, it, yeah, uh, if you guys want me to do a comic a comic or me to read one, uh, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, you can like, subscribe, or comment down below if you want to. I'll see you guys later.